What's going on, Bear Handians? It is Bear Hands here, bringing you a Clash Royale video. And today we're going to talk about a heart-stopping deck. I guess you could call it Legendary Zap Bait deck. It is so much fun to play with. I'm not saying that it is the best deck that I've ever played with. I haven't gone up in trophies, though I'm pretty high. And with, uh... I've got two level 2 legendaries here in level 10 minion hordes, so I'm not saying my cards are underleveled, but at the same time I'm fighting people with level 11 common cards and, and things like that. This deck is a blast though. Every single game that I win, I feel like the psychological warfare that went into the game itself was incredible. Talking with my hands here. Anyways, uh... This deck rocks. We've got the Princess, the Miner, the Lumberjack. I understand that it's a lot of legendaries for one deck, uh, but whatever. We've got the Elixir Pump because I really just like Elixir Pumps in the deck. I just feel comfortable with them. It's what I've always played with. Then we've got the Goblin Barrel, which is like a Zap Bait. The Princess, which is kind of an Arrow Bait. And then that Minion Horde to just get in there and decimate and annihilate. Uh, so, let's go ahead and let's jump into this game here against King in Epic Army, and this guy's got some pretty nice cards. I'm going to start off nice and slow with my princess in the back. Well, you'd think that I would use my princess in the back, but I'm going to throw my uh, goblin barrel first. He's going to zap it, which is good. Good for him to get the zap out there get an idea of what kind of cards. Now, this guy's running the Fireball as well, which I don't think I end up seeing until later in the game, and it kind of surprises me. But I'm going to throw down my Lumberjack, my Miner, my Ice Spirit. Level 11 Barbarians are going to uh, pile up there and destroy that push, but look at that. We got that tower down significantly, and our minion horde is just going to eat through that royal giant first. I'm, I assume he's going to be prepared for that the next time. My double princesses are going to eat away at that uh, barbarian party there. We're going to zap away this princess, because I figure why not let my princess live a little bit longer. Long live the princess. His cannon, nice placement on the cannon, uh kill that princess there and so at this point we just kind of felt each other's decks out i'm kind of ahead i'm gonna throw down my elixir pump and he's gonna take the advantage when i throw down the elixir pump right there he's gonna throw down his royal giant on me uh we're gonna throw down a lumberjack ice spirit which is a great counter to the royal giant look i think he gets three shots off there and then i'm able to throw down a counter push with the lumberjack Pretty nice counter push, too. That tower's going to get all the way down to 430. And then he's got a significant counter push coming our way, too. So I'm going to throw down my princess maybe a little bit too close to that left side tower. He's going to fireball it away. And then I'm sitting here going, uh-oh, got to use our, our minion horde. He's going to zap the minion horde. Uh, I'm going to throw down something here to try and stop the minion horde from getting taken out. But he's going to throw his princess down and a cannon which was odd. It pulled the minion horde away and stopped the princess from splashing him away. So it almost like that cannon helped me a little bit there. I'm going to throw my goblin barrel down, keep that pressure on. My ice spirit is going to freeze those barbarians. My princess is going to get a couple more hits off. My minion horde is going to go to town on the barbarians. He's going to end up fireballing my tower down because the game's about to be over in 30 seconds. He wants to get that that crown there but that's going to allow me without him fireballing that minion horde to just crush his right tower you gotta use your spells on my little minions uh, and then at this point pretty confident i can stop him from taking out my right tower in 10 seconds he's gonna throw down his uh you know whatever that thing's called royal giant it's gonna sit there and and shoot away at my elixir pump which is why i put the elixir pump there and that's going to be a good game against King. All right, this next game, uh, when I said it was a heart stopper deck, this is why. This was insane. Okay, we're going to start off, and I'm just going to say right out of the get-go that I do not feel confident with this deck against the Three Musketeers. You may think otherwise after this, but really every time I see the Three Musketeers, there's a, there's a little bit of nervous pee there. Okay. There's a, there's 
a little bit of nervous pee there. We're going to throw down our Ice Spirit. Our Lumberjack is going to chop away at that hog. Level 8 hog. Uh, pretty hefty there. My tower is going to take out those minions. And so I, I just want to keep it kind of slow here until we figure out what his deck has. He's going to throw an Elixir Pump, his Goblins. My Princess, great way to stop those little units there. Princess is going to chip away at those Goblins. The tower is going to pick them off. I'm going to throw an Elixir Pump down in the back as well. Then he's going to assassinate my princess with his minions. And I'm going to soak the damage here. I could have zapped, but I kind of figured, you know what? Time to build up for a push. And then here they come, the three musketeers. And, and I kind of freak out. I'm like, what am I supposed to do against these? I'm sitting here wasting elixir, waiting for them to come forward. And it's just disastrous. I'm going to throw down my minion horde and zap. Then he's going to zap and eat through my minion horde. So I'm going to try and mitigate the damage on the left side with an Ice Spirit, throw down my Princess to try and stop this huge wave coming at me. And look at this, he's just going to decimate my right tower. I like that word today, decimate. Then he's going to throw a Hog in the middle, which might have been a little rushy for him. My Lumberjack's going to take it out, but looking at it at this point in the game, looks like I've been totally outplayed. kind of feel like I've been totally outplayed. My Miner, what, Raged Miner is going to do a few hundred. He's going to sit there and chop away. Uh, he's going to throw a pump down in the back as well. And I, I don't even know how this game went the way that it went. It is so awesome. He's going to throw his musketeers right in the middle. My goblin barrel was already in the air. I'm barely going to stop my left tower from going down. And here we go. We've got a rush going over here. He needs to fireball that right or that left side there. He does, and again, it's like, okay, I did a little bit of damage, but what are you going to do, really? I'm going to throw my Goblin Barrel down. He's going to zap it away. My Princess is still chipping away, so I've done quite a bit of damage, but I can't stop this from taking out my tower. His Hog is going to take that out. My Lumberjack is going to come down. You know what he's going to do. He's just going to save up and drop his three Musketeers on my side. Blam, there they are. Look at this. I save my tower by throwing my Ice Spirit down and zapping. His Musketeer is still shooting my tower and I wasn't even paying attention up to the top. I rush all the way through his left tower and take out his King Tower, like instantaneously. That's what happens when you have a lot of units and you don't use your spell on the units. So good. I was like breathing so heavily after that game. It was awesome. Okay, so really great game really well played i know i was wowing at the end there this game <clears throat> another game where i thought no way i should win this game no way i just i felt like i misplayed a bunch of times not really sure how i would possibly pull something like this back but stay with me here look at that elixir that he just wasted shame on him he's gonna do a rush with the Miner, I'm gonna panic and throw my miner down, but I did get a nice trade off there with the ice spirits a Positive one elixir trade ice spirit for fire spirits Then I'm gonna throw a little rush down here to put some pressure on him He's gonna counter pretty well though. My lumberjack is going to whack his tower all look, what? Look at that lumberjack. Holy cow. Okay, so he's wowing Me too on the inside, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna BM and throw down some bad man in Wow, that Ice Spirit play was so pro. I'm not going to BM and throw down some bad man. And wow, that, oh, I got the Ice Spirit right in between. It tanks the first hit and then freezes for two seconds. And since he was in the middle, he ended up uh, dying before he got a single swing off on the princess, which was short-lived because those barbarians just went ahead and killed that. So I'm going to throw the Lumberjack down to stop these barbarians from doing damage. Deal a little bit of damage to that right-hand tower. And at this point, it feels like I'm doing a really good job. I'm really kind of crushing his right tower. But, you know, spawner decks, once they start picking up, it could get out of hand really fast. And wouldn't you know it, it is a three musketeer spawner deck. He's going to throw the three musketeers down. And thank goodness I've got the princess here. His three musketeers are going to go down to, what, one or a, a half? of health on that right side there and now he's got this unstoppable wave my miner totally misplaced don't end up hitting the musketeer and so he did 
like thousands of damage with his three musketeers because they just wouldn't die. Okay, so his archers, which archers are no joke, are going to take out uh, that right tower. And look at him, he's like throwing stuff down on the right side because he knows I'm going to go for the right side. And watch this. I'm going to I'm gonna deal with the stuff on the right side and then whap! I'm going to go right after his left side because he's thinking, no way he's going to do 2,700 damage instantly to my left side. Watch this. You, sir, are wrong and gone so his now, now his left tower is gone but i'm still in trouble because again three musketeers being placed right in the middle i'm gonna go ahead and throw down my lumberjack and then pro zap his flame spirit away fire spirit whatever you want to call him and then i'm just able to kind of chip away this tower on the left and that was so clutch don't throw all your stuff on the side that's low and not prep for a push on the other side because that is what happens okay play smart don't just well i've got him now so i'm just gonna coast the rest of the game and spam all my units down on the side that he's got lower shame shame on you uh but still great game really enjoyed it let's go ahead see if we can't recreate this beauty i'm gonna jump into a live game here like i said it's kind of uh it's kind of win one lose two win two lose one kind of a thing going on here a level nine so you know this guy is gonna be good don't be fooled the level nines have level 11 common cards and they use the same deck over and over again sakita let's do a little bit of a rush here zap this he's gonna zap away on my tower there that's okay I'm gonna go ahead and freeze this dude. Check that out. Don't, don't, ah, can't believe he hit that. Are you serious? Oh, he, oh, okay, you're gonna oops me. You're gonna oops me. Well, he's zapped, so let's go ahead and just rush with the minion horde. Oh, oh, that wizard, that wizard is tight. Well, that minion horde did work. I'm not going to lie, that minion horde did work. Well played. Good game, well played. You too, sir. We'll call him Zack. Uh, he's getting money off of the elixir pump, and I don't want to get too incredibly ahead of myself. This deck that he's playing with is kind of the, kind of the thing right now. I'm going to wait until it locks on and then throw down my ice spirit. And then I'm going to rush this tower over here. And then I'm going to... Oh my. Oh my. We're just going to go for this right here. And hope I can take out that ice wizard before it kills all my stuff. And then we're going to rush. I know I just lost the tower, but now is not the time to freak out. What's that? Uh-huh. See, this is why you don't freak out. Just take the other tower. I don't care how well you did there, sir. Let's take this other tower, huh? I know he's got the zap. I know he's got the zap. He's going to zap, right? That was really well played on his part. He did not zap. I'm going to leave that musketeer on that side. I'm going to go ahead and ice spirit. Oh, no. Oh, this is a disaster. Uh-huh. I gotta take that out. I gotta take that out. Oh, he's getting some worth there. Uh-huh. Oh, no! Stop this madness! Okay, alright. Okay, 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 okay. You know he wants to throw his giant right in the middle there. So I want to do this. Okay, we're going to kill that. Our, look at that princess over on the left side is just, just do, look, 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 get it princess. Yeah, princess FTW, which is for the win. Yes. Zach, that was a really good game. His cards were... I mean, look at his cards. You gotta give him credit. He's got a level 3 epic, which is below level. 
both his... Wow, he had a lumberjack and he never used it once. Interesting. So much fun. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you found any of this helpful and plan on using the deck at all, don't forget to subscribe so you can come back and see more wonderful Clash Royale content. I know you enjoyed it. I know you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Smash it like a hammer. Anyways, I hope to see you next time for more... For, 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 for more stuff. <laughs>